All right, g'day everybody. Uh, welcome to another Let's Go Fishing Adventure. I'm just uh, down the beach today. We got the lowest tide of the year, super low tide, getting down to point three. So I'm actually going for a walk, uh, see if I can get some lamb-based fish, and see if I can get a fish for dinner. Uh, I'd really like to get a fish for dinner. A little bit of wind around, but uh, otherwise should be really nice, super low tide. Got the stick bait tied on. Uh, hopefully we can get some uh, lamb-based trout for dinner. Would be amazing. And I'm not going to complain if a GT comes along either. But uh, yeah, got the last couple of hours of the tide here. I've got the reef booties on. So can walk right out to the edge and get some casts out in the deep water. I'm pretty excited to see what turns up. Um, going to get out there and get casting. I'll wear the head cam and hopefully some good bites coming. Right, in the water, I'm just going to walk out to the edge just here, probably stand out in waist deep water, should be able to get a good cast from there, hopefully, ready. one hook actually wow there's one hook holding two fish whoop there goes one of them that was pretty cool so one hook two fish so that's just a single hook on the back of there crazy that that can hook two fish like that anyway see you buddy No queenie. Land based queenie. Sick. That is sick. There we go. Nice land based queenie. So good. Some fish there. God, it's not me trout. That is not my trout. Larry. Wow, so it's actually been uh, 
So it's actually been really good out here, um, getting so many bites. It's awesome for a land based session, like so many hits and hookups. Haven't landed too much, that's really awesome, but a few good fish there. But I'm um, gonna keep walking. I'm just walking along like 20 meters, flick again, and uh, see what else we can get, eh? It's been pretty good. Wouldn't be a search without a Tommy. Yes! Got him! Finally landed one! Finally landed a nice size eating one! Got him! Got him, got him, got him! GT Me a little bugger Alright, how was the little battle on this fella? So much fun. They go so hard for their size. The old GT. Such a good start. Uh, so many bites. This is like the most bites I've ever had land based. It's so good. Such a good session. Oh, stripey. Stripey right there. Cool part about using little lures on the reef. Catch all sorts of little fish like that. Whoa, just made it to this one. But man, this spot looks epic. So good. Oh. Okay. 
passion fruit. Passion fruit trout. That's what we want. That. That's what we want. Trouties. Nice trouty. Alright. Nice little lamb based passion. It's not quite big enough to eat that one, so get the hooks out of him and get him back. And there he goes. Slipped out of my hand. Back into the drink. All right, I got the squid. All right, I just sight cast this squid. That is crazy. I've just got him. It's probably going to go crazy here. Oh, this would be such an amazing dinner if I can get him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Big tiger squid. On the Pelagus 90. Oh, and he just inked me. He just inked me. Oh, man. Alright, that is pretty sick. Just coming to a rock pool here. Nice big tiger squid on the Pelagus 90. Very cool. I uh, would like to eat this guy for dinner, but uh, it's going to be a bit hard to cook a squid on the beach, so I might just take a quick photo and then. Let him go, I think. There he is. Cool looking squid, the old uh, tiger calamari. Not a bad size one either. Super cool. Love those colours. But uh, if you get him back, keep casting. Alright, that was super cool to get that squid. But uh, on to the next one. Just trying to have 10, 20 calves and then walk another 20, 30 metres up the reef edge. Get out on the wommy again and cast again. Alright, almost out here. Couple more bombies. One, two, three. This one will do me. Right on the edge here. Yeah. Sick. trout that's a big trout that is a really good trout yes how am I gonna land this fella yes got him got him That is a really nice trout. All right, just made it in to the shallows in this rock pool here. Give you a better look at him instead of out on the reef right there. He is a super nice land-based trout. Pelagus 90. Nice passion fruit. So, there he is. Super stoked with that. He's a bloody nice fish for land-based. So cool to catch a passion fruit trout like that off, off the stones. Super cool. But uh, I don't actually like eating passion fruit that much. So probably going to let this guy go. Lucky day. Get a quick photo. Let him go. Alright, so I am going to let him go just in the shallows here. Because he's got plenty of spots to hide in the weed here. In the shallows like that. Probably make his way all the way out. But if I let him go out there, shark might eat him while he recovers. So um, let him go in here and he'll be right. Let's go catch another one. Oh! Straight on! Oh, is this a GT? Or a gold spot? Gold spot. Gold spot rally. Oh, 
All right, that is a gold spot trevally. As you can see by the gold spots there, they love a Palagus 90, these things. But get him back, they're not that good to eat. All right, here we go. Nice trouty. Nice trouty. Take him. He'll do for dinner. He will do for dinner. Be just size that one. Beautiful eating size. All right, that was a pretty good little sash. Got a couple of trout like this for dinner now. Super stoked with that. Um, tide's starting to come back in, so it's not as good. So I'm going to head back in and uh, make a fire and cook these trout up for dinner. It's going to be so good after a session like that. Need some nice fresh trouty. Let's go. All right, how is this spot here? Tide's coming back in. Sun's going down. Got my uh, trout scaled, gilled and gutted there and just making a fire to cook them on but uh before i do that i'll do a bit of a gear run through all right so the gear i was using today um out on the reef flat there was the palagus 90 i was using that color and the black one uh yeah jackfin palagus 90 amazing lure uh the rod poke bullfighter 160 the travel edition uh packs up so you can fly with it it's really good and uh saragossa 18k, 100 pound braid, 100 pound leader. I use that stuff on the flats a lot. Um, it is a bit heavy, but land based, it saves you from losing lures, which is awesome. Uh, really good combo to use. Uh, the rod and the lures are available on ebtidetackle.com and I've got a discount code Colby10 if you guys want to jump on there and get yourself a rod or a lure. It'll save you guys a bit of cash. But um, the sun is about to go down. I'm gonna get this fire going so I can cook these trout as the sun goes down and uh, have a beer after an awesome day. So good, just having a cold beer, watching the fire burn down and watch that sun go down. Should probably think about getting those trout on in a minute, but just chilling out. All right, so going pretty simple with the trout. Um, I just got them in foil here. Just gonna put a bit of dill. Got a bit of dill and uh, lemon slices going on top as well. And uh, I've got a bit of melted butter here as well. So just put a little bit of butter over top of each one of them. Looks pretty bloody good. And then I'm just going to roll them up, roll them up in foil, chuck them in the fire for probably about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, that should be pretty bloody good, I reckon. Trouties are on. A couple of potatoes are on as well. All right, that is the end result. Nice slab of trout there. Bit of cupie, bit of roast spuds in the foil. Looks that good, I'm getting into it. All right, let's give it a go. Looks that good. Yeah, that's proper good. After a big day of walking around on the stones, that is so good. Bullshit good. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching another video guys, but I'm going to seriously hoe into this. I'm starving. Uh, what an epic day. Yeah, thanks for tuning in to another video and plenty more on the way. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you'll see the next one. Cheers.